see, and here's why. Janice Yellen came out, our Treasury Secretary. She came out and basically said, we need a $1.5 trillion stimulus. And of course, you know, the Democrats are going to vote for that. I don't think you'll get any Republicans voting for it, but they control Congress. So that's the pocketbook of the nation. And you'll see a 1.5 stimulus. Now, people say, oh, we're going to get $1,400 in a check for one month or something like that. But the problem is, eventually we have to pay for it. Uh, $1.5 trillion is a lot of money, no matter how you look at it. And what you saw today, you saw the 10-year jump to high as it's jumped since February 2020, a year ago, on anticipation that you'll see inflation. And when you see inflation, that hurts the market. As people go into the 10-year, which they're doing today, you'll see stocks go down. And like you and I have been talking, I thought techs were in a bubble. And sure enough, the first ones to get hit this week are the techs. And you could see them get hit worse if, in fact, uh, the 10-year continues. And I see the 10-year going maybe to 2%. So we're like 1.3. You could see it go up to 2%. And I think that would really hurt the market. Uh, like I said, I, I do believe uh, the 10-year will go a little higher. Uh, some people are saying maybe up to 3. I think, it's, I think it tops out at 2, to be honest with you. Uh, the Fed does have tools to fight the inflation somewhat. Not a lot, but somewhat. So I think they'll start programming that, too. But I think basically uh, it's it's a move to uh, add equities and into safe haven stocks for sure. And we saw that today, too. We saw some, uh, some moves into the oils. We saw some moves into like a uh, cat and deer, things of that nature. So I think if it comes down, I think you'll see them uh, all come down. And then you take another look at it. Right now, I wouldn't be buying them because you'll probably see the capitulation uh, you could see down three or four percent in a lot of these tech stocks. There's no question about it. And I, 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 I take a look at it. Uh, they're good in the long term, but in the short term, uh, the coronavirus is going to add a lot of stimulus to this country, and that is going to raise inflation and the 10-year a rush to the 10-year probably. You'll see gold go up. I think gold's down. I can't figure that out, but I think you'll see gold bounce too. Uh, you know, you see some of these silver, copper. I think copper was up this morning. I didn't check it before we went on, but I think you'll see a, a, a play for those safe havens also. I, I don't know what the allure is. I, you know, Bitcoin over $53,000 today. I mean, it's incredible. I think you could see it maybe go up to 10000 I mean, 10, up to 100000 um, I think it's a uh, not a Ponzi scheme, but I do think it's something that's based on nothing. If you look at Bitcoin, who's been buying it, do you know Tether? So Tether have been buying it. Tether is basically a, a coin based on nothing, thin air. And when it comes to selling, I think you could see it really tank some of these cryptos. And it's mainly in cryptos they're buying it. So they're buying a lot of these sales in Bitcoin is with this Tether. And um, I think if that Push comes to shove someday. It's like yelling fire in a movie theater and everybody runs to the door. You could see that coin really get smacked around. Gold's a little different. Gold is based on the bullion. And that has a, a more credibility. And I think you'll see gold go up. Silver for sure, I think you'll see go up. Even though gold is more valuable, silver is more use. So I think you'll see silver go up. Uh, it's a good play. You know, like I said, I believe that the... Uh, 10 years at like 1.3 right now. I think it's going to go to two. So, yeah, it is not bad if it goes to two, lock in. If it goes up a little higher here, lock in. Because I think it's going to see a volatile market this year, uh, especially with the stimulus and we still have the virus. And remember, even when the virus is over, it's going to be a while before a lot of these companies show positive earnings. We saw Walmart today, the biggest retailer in the country, get smacked. Now, we're buying Walmart. We think in the long run, Walmart's good. Uh, but they got smacked because they're vesting a lot of their money in stock buybacks and the company because of labor going up to whatever it is, $15 an hour. So uh, they're doing what's right. And uh, I I'm not afraid of Walmart. I think Walmart's going to have a nice bounce here. And you saw digital sales at Walmart were up 69%. So they're going to give Amazon a run for their money, I believe, in the long run. But, yeah, I, I, would, I would be careful. Um, I still think you see a stock come in. We're watching a lot of stocks. Like I said, we're buying Walmart today because it came in 10% today, basically. 
And I think uh, you'll see some other stocks as they come in that we like. We'll, we'll buy them. We'll, we'll buy them. It's like going to Macy's and seeing a sale day. You go out and buy it.